Merry Christmas everybody! Welcome back to my channel. It's Ramen here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a holiday makeup look. I'm going to do like a natural eye but a bright lip and then I'm also going to be curling my hair. Okay, so I'm going to start with my face first. I'm not going to do like a super glowy look. I want it to be a bit more matte. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Too Faced face primer. This is the hangover one. This one is supposed to be really good. This is the only one that I've been using honestly for a while and I really like it. So you don't need too much. This is how much I'm going to take. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. This one's oil free, so it will give me that matte finish. Um, and I'm in the shade Light Beige. So I'm just going to take some pumps on my hand here and then go in with this flat brush. I never start with too much. I always build up my foundation because I want it to look as natural as possible. Because I'm not sure why that foundation is looking a little bit light on the camera, but it looks fine in person. So I'm going to add a bit more to like my cheeks and chin area. Just to add an extra layer of coverage. And that's what this foundation really is. It's like a buildable foundation. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Born This Way concealer. I am in the shade Golden Beige. So this is just to go in with a concealer that kind of matches my skin tone a little bit. And then I'll go in with a lighter concealer afterwards. So I always get redness around my nose area. I love using my fingers for this process. I feel like it just absorbs in and looks very natural. Okay, so now I'm going to use this Tarte Creaseless Concealer on my under eyes just to brighten them up a little bit. And I'm in the shade Light Medium Neutral. Okay, now I'm going to use this Contour Stick by Fenty Beauty. Um, I use this all the time, honestly. It's really good. I am in the shade Mocha. Now that we have concealed and contoured, I'm going to bake my under eyes and the rest of my face with this Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. I usually just go in heavy on my under eyes with this powder and then I use the excess amount and I spread it across my face. My skin always creases in these areas of like my smile lines and then my eyebrow area here. Okay, so as this is all setting, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced. I just realized I have a lot of things from Too Faced. Um, but I'm going to go in with this Too Faced bronzer. This is the chocolate medium to deep matte bronzer. Now I'm going to contour my nose with the same bronzer. Okay, so my friend got me this blush trio from Tarte. Um, she honestly just gave it to me yesterday and I already messed it up. Look at that. I almost dropped it and I was trying to save it and then I did that. So 
I'm gonna use this shade down here. It's called Sugar and Spice. So I'm going to take some with my brush and just put it on the outer cheekbone area here just to kind of lift my face. I've been really liking putting my blush here and then whatever is left kind of just bring it down. Okay, I really like how pigmented this is. It actually picks up really well on the skin. I like putting a little bit on my chin and my forehead area as well to just bring some color just a tad bit on my nose. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Modern Renaissance um, eyeshadow palette. Ignore how dirty this looks. I've had it for far too long. And so I'm just going to use this burnt orange shade. You can tell that I use this one the most. So I'm going to use this on my crease and just do circular motions all around. This doesn't have to be neat. I just kind of quickly do them. So I'll start from the outer and then kind of just keep working back and forth like that. Okay, I think I really need to wash my brushes. It's been a little while. Um, I was supposed to wash them today, but I got a little lazy. And this one was like kind of shedding all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to use this light shade here called Tempera with this small, almost flattish brush. I like using this for the inner corners. So I'm not going to do a cut crease look, but this is going to brighten up my eyes from the inner corners. Now that the inner corners are brightened up, I'm going to use this warm taupe color and kind of use it as a transition shade. Take the warm taupe back again just to make this a little bit darker and more defined. And then whatever I have left, just kind of work it inwards. Okay, so I'm going to take a flat brush like this one. This is Morphe and I'm going to kind of use eyeshadow. Um, I've been doing this for so many years, just using eyeshadow as an eyeliner. I'm going to use this brown shade here. Oh my god. I keep dropping my makeup. It's like, what's wrong with me? But I'm going in with this brown shade here. I like to take whatever like makeup wipe that I have um, that's not like too wet a little bit damp and kind of take off any foundation or excess makeup that's on my eyebrows I feel like they turn out um, darker I do have very thin eyebrows so this helps them look a bit darker okay so I'm going in with the Sephora brow pencil this is in the shade granite really been liking this brow wiz i got this like as a sample um my sephora order this is the anastasia beverly hills um brow wiz i'm not sure what it's called actually um but i really like this to kind of just touch up and have my eyebrows stay in put okay so before i put on my falsies i'm going to go in with some mascara i'm using this maybelline colossal mascara i really like this one and it's so affordable obviously because it's maybelline okay so i'm going to be using these lily lashes they're 3d faux mink i think this is the paris one they're so pretty i'm using them for the first time i know so many people use these already so i'm really excited to see how they look And then I'm just using this duo eyelash glue. Okay, so I thought it fit my eyes, but it's a, t a little bit too big. So I'm going to cut them from the outer corners a little bit. Okay, my right eye, when I was putting on my eyelashes, my right eye gave me so much trouble. And now it's so red. Um, hopefully that goes away soon. 
I'm gonna go back in with the mascara and just kind of go over the eyelashes. Now I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty highlighter now. I'm gonna use this one here, and this is the Pink Sand Edition palette. Now I'm going to put on red lipstick. Okay, guys, I haven't put on red lipstick in I don't know how many years. I'm doing it after so long. I used to do it all the time before, and then I kind of got out of it. I only started liking nudes, so I'm a little bit scared, but I'm going to put it on, and hopefully it still looks good. Okay, so I'm using this Kat Von D one, and I'm not sure how to say the name of this lipstick. It's called Nosferatu. So now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Okay guys, so now that my makeup is done, I'm going to do my hair. Um, so I'm going to curl it and I'm going to part it on the side here. So I typically do this when I want more of a glam look. Otherwise, I usually split my hair in the middle. Um, but I have a curly hair, so I quickly strained it. I didn't do it pin straight, I just strained it enough so that it doesn't look curly from the top. So I'm going to spray this Garni hair protector. It's for flat iron, but honestly, I use it for everything. Um, I just do a few pumps of that throughout my entire head. Okay, so I'm also going to use this bonding oil that I always use by Olaplex. Um, just to make my hair a little bit more smooth and shiny. I will start from the middle and work it into the ends and then whatever I have left to kind of work at the top. Okay, so I'm using my Numi uh, 1 inch curling wand. Honestly, I got this from... I think winners and honestly winners has really good styling tools and they're so affordable I always just get stuff from there burned my finger oh man <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna brush it out with my fingers a little bit it's a little bit dry so I'm gonna go in with some products but first before I do that I want to spray it down with some hairspray so I use this argan oil hairspray by Mark Anthony I don't spray too much. I don't like the texture of hairspray. So I kind of just like quickly go in. Okay, so the top kind of looks a little bit frizzy. I'm going to go in with my Olaplex Bond Smoother. This one makes my hair feel and look so soft. I'm just going to do a little bit because I don't want it to weigh my hair down either. Just this much. Okay guys, so that is all for my holiday makeup and hair tutorial. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know. I really do enjoy them. Um, but yeah, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. But yeah, I hope you guys have the best Christmas ever. I know that it's really hard with everything that's going on. We can't see our 
family, like other than our household. So we can't see our cousins or friends. And everyone's finding it a little bit hard. I hope you guys take the time to really spend time with your parents or whoever you live with and enjoy their company and just find things to do together like baking, making cookies or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful day. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.